Hi guys, welcome to this screencast titled How to create age bucket in smart reporting. My name is Mayur. I work in smart reporting team. So this particular session I am creating right before the new year. So if you are watching it before 2017, then Merry Christmas to you and your family. If you are watching it in 2017, then welcome to new year. So first question which might come into your mind is what is age bucketing, right? So just remember that one of the most powerful feature of any popular BI tool in the world is to have the ability to group data based on age of the data. So this concept of grouping is what we call age bucketing. So for example, let's say I want to show number of employees who are working for my organization based on their age groups. So out of 100 employees, there are 40 employees who falls under less than 30 years age bucket and remaining 60 into more than 30 years age bucket. And this is how we create age bucket of data. So let's get started. As you know, we are going to cover this particular topic into two parts. In first part, we will see how to calculate age of an incident and in second part, we will use the same age object and create an age bucket. So let's get started. So here I am in the report designer page. So it's pretty obvious that to calculate age, we need one date field which defines beginning of the data, right? For that purpose, I want to use incident submitted date. So the first step is to create calculated field which will give me age of the incident, okay? So what is calculated field, right? So it's nothing but something which allows you to manipulate data that you have in your report. To create a calculated field, click here on this plus sign and it opens up a window, we call it formula builder. So first we need to give it a name. So I, I am going to name it as age of incident. And in formula type section, I am gonna select predefined which allows me to use one of those predefined functions which are present in smart reporting. As here you could see list of all those standard functions which are present in smart reporting. I want to select date difference in days. Basically what it does, it returns number of days between two dates. So let's define dates to calculate the age. First, I want to define start date. So here as you see there are three options. One, list of fields present in the view second you can define your own date and third you can select the current date and here in this scenario we are going to calculate date difference based on incident submitted date so that i am going to search for incident submitted date and select that date as a start date okay next let's define the end date as you know we always calculate age by taking date difference with current date so now once you save this, it is going to return number of days between these two dates, okay? So I'm gonna select it as a matrix, which means it allows me to perform arithmetic calculation on the calculated fields. So once you click on save, so see, what we have here is a new folder at the bottom of the categories under which you could see the object which we have created right now. So I'm gonna pull that object into column section along with incident number so see how each of incidents are shown here so guys in next video we will use this particular age object and create age bucket thank you for watching please watch all other videos of smart reporting to have better understanding of the product